The action thriller Retribution is one of the worst movies I have seen this year. The acting is awful, the story is nonsensical, and when it was all said and done, I quite frankly didn't care about this film whatsoever. So the story of this one is that Matt Turner, when driving his kids to school, he is threatened by a mysterious bomber, and well, that's pretty much the movie. My question for this movie was, when the hell was this? This one is boring, it's unsuspenseful, it's absurd. And the characters make asinine decisions, they are stereotype, which makes them generic, uninteresting characters. Now, I did see a trailer a couple of weeks before I saw this movie, and I had low expectations because I knew this one was just going to be downright awful, and I was right. Especially considering how I wanted to stop watching after 10 minutes, but I was like, nah, I'm gonna see this through to the end. And well, that's 91 minutes, I'm never getting back. Overall, when it comes down to it, if you haven't seen this movie, then I highly recommend you skip it because, quite frankly, it is not worth the time. This film was so bad that not even Liam Nielsen could have saved it. He's playing this character, Matt, and the thing is, Matt's not even a badass. He's just this dad who's get caught in this scheme for ransom. And then what follows is a 9-1 minute board fest. I did not have a good time with this. And the thing is, Liam Nielsen, I felt like he's better in this as an actor considering he gave us classic films, especially Taken. I rather rewatch that film multiple times over than ever look at this movie ever again. The kids were annoying and you know how I felt about child actors. They're either great or terrible. In this film, well, their acting is not that great. <laughs> it's pretty awful, especially considering the characters don't have much character development. I actually laughed twice in this movie. Not because this film's funny, but it's just how absurd this whole thing is. It's like a poor man version of the Speed film. You know, I wish I'd give this film positives, but honestly, I can't. I didn't like anything about this movie. Everything was downright atrocious. I want the film to be over. And this film does not have anything interesting about it. And the thing is, this movie probably could have been at least decent if the script was written better and the dialogue wasn't, you know, all over a damn place. Obviously, this is a film that should have came out on streaming. I'm surprised it got a theatrical release. If anything, this feels like a movie of the week. Something I'll watch on TV one night and say, hmm. This movie is pretty downright awful. At the end of the day, I did not have a fun or entertaining time with this one. There's nothing great about this film, to be honest. And honestly, the only thing I want to do about this movie is just forget I ever saw this hot pile of garbage in the first place. I'm giving this film a 1 out of 10. A dumpster fire of epic proportions. Now, there is a silver lining here, and that is, I am thankful I never have to watch this film ever again. And I have heard this is a remake of the 2015 Spanish French action film of the same name, and I'm betting that movie is a lot better than this one. Man, I hate this movie. This one was a waste of my time. It's real with plot holes. And even the police are incompetent in this film. And there probably are some people out there that like this movie for whatever reason. It just for me personally, I found this dull and generic. And that is my review of the film, Retribution. Okay, leave your comments down below in the section. And let me know what you think about this movie if you have seen it. All right, this is Slim Guy 172 saying, Peace out.